All right, girlfriend. Out. Yes. So I'm just kind of working. Mm -hmm. Out. Yes. Right back up. So I started teaching her the word out means to leave, give me space basically to move away. So I will, like right now, out, step into her space and toss food away from me. So I'm saying the word out first and then stepping towards her, tossing food behind her. Um, like this, out. Ooh. Just giving her that muscle memory of hearing the word out and moving backwards. And now I'm kind of switching it over to um, something that she has a mild interest in. Um, and we've been doing it for a few minutes and so now she out. Yes, she kind of already has the, the basis of it. So I'm basically allowing her to sniff it and then saying that word out when she moves away from it because she already has that reflexive response to the word. I'm marking it with a yes and paying her. So like last week was spent teaching her yes equals food. And then also that out moving away from me. This week I started with the out moving away from me and then I kind of switched it to where I would say out, yes out and then yes when she moves away so i kind of wanted to make it a conditioned command out yes very good so i'm marking and rewarding when she responds to my command my request which is out yes she already knows what that means and then again i want to pair it to a toy which she in this situation finds the food to be more motivating so she's choosing to kind of hang around me instead of showing a lot of interest in toys which I kind of want just so that there's not too much conflict with wanting to stay near the toy when before I started recording I put a toy in the ground and she was sniffing it and I said out and she did move away and I kind of gave her a little bit of leash tap towards me which she then moved away back towards me I didn't pay her for that and then I said, okay, and let her go back to sniffing again. And when I said out the next time, she moved away from it right away and I, yes, and paid her. So I kind of wanted to paint the picture of what I was looking for through um, how I rewarded her. Uh, but I want there to not be a lot of conflict right now so that we can have that no conflict muscle memory being built. Um, and then next week I will bring in Eric. So there is that little bit of conflict, that little bit of like, out, nope. The girl. Okay. I don't know if that toy is even in the picture or in the frame. Um, I can work her towards showing her that if you don't, if I need the leash, out. Good girl. If you need the leash, you're not going to get food for me. But if you listen to me just verbally, then I will pay you for that. Out. You're being very rude. The leash is super helpful so that I can apply consequences like jumping. I don't know if you care about jumping, but. Uh-uh, it's annoying to me, so I'm not gonna let her do it. <laughs> that's, that's the only reason. Out, yes, very good. I don't think that toy's in the frame. There's a little like fuzzy bear over there that she just sniffed and she went away from right away. Let me take that, out, yes, very good. So I don't care about that brush, but it gets keys. Whoa, uh-uh, don't jump on me. Nope. Nope. Yes. Nope. Nope. Uh -uh. Yes. Very good. You're not gonna be rude to jump on me. Good girl, there you go. Nope, there you go. I can see you're thinking about it a little bit. Oh, yes. Good job. Um, and I will probably like play with her a little bit too, so that way she's not like, man, I'm not allowed to touch this stuff. No. I have a feeling that once Eric's in here, that possession will come out and she'll have a little bit more interest in these toys. No, don't jump on me. Um, so we'll see where we get with that. Good girl. Sit. Do it. That's not a sit, that's a, I don't know what that is. It's a circus dance. Uh -uh. No. Sit. Good. Yes. That was better. All right. Nice then.